All right, guys, today we're going to talk through Luminar, ticker symbol L-A-Z-R. By the way, this ticker symbol is super cool. I love it. Laser, that's, that's awesome. So in this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not you should buy them. So by doing that, what I'm going to do is give you a company overview. We're going to talk through what products they make, you know, how they kind of fit in this market, what their current business sector moves are. And then we'll tell out the video by doing a technical analysis. Now it's going to be a little bit short because this company went IPO as of yesterday. So there's not a whole lot of technicality there we can still break down some stuff. And before I get started, just like every video, I always ask that you smash that like button. It really supports the channel. And also comment below if I miss anything throughout this video, I won't be able to cover everything, but I'll give you guys as much as I can. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel and to join our free Discord, which is linked down below in the description. As I like to disclose, this video is for informative purposes only, and I'm not an expert, so make sure you do your own due diligence but hopefully this video can help get you a head start. So let's break down who Luminar is. So Luminar is a company that recently went public through a SPAC merger with a company known as Gore's Metropolis. Luminar is currently the global leader in automotive LiDAR sensors and software. So for those of you who don't know what LiDAR is, essentially what LiDAR is, a sensor that measures distances by emitting light at specific targets and then measures the reflection of that light with a sensor. Now, an easy way to remember the term LiDAR is think of light radar. The ultimate goal with this company and this technology is to eventually incorporate it into the commercial space and the average consumer space as well. Now, there's already been some gripes from competitors like Elon Musk, who is opposed to this idea of LiDAR technology. He's always kind of been against it. He's aware of its capabilities, but he also sees it as being very expensive, as not, not as very feasible in today's market. So let's see if they can overcome that challenge. Next, I want to talk about who founded this company because this guy is very important to highlight and he is extremely significant and impressive as well. So this company was founded in 2012 by Austin Russell, who is currently the founder and CEO of Luminar. He's been an engineer slash entrepreneur his whole life. He's currently 25 years old and he's currently one of the youngest billionaires in the entire world which personally makes me feel terrible because this guy's about my age and he's already a billionaire. So like, I, I don't know what the hell I've been doing, but very impressive to see that at such a young age. He started working on this company back when he was 16 or 17 years old back in 2012. And now we have what it is today. And now he's a billionaire. Just overall, very impressive stuff. So I like that he's very smart and he's essentially just a true pioneer in this whole automotive lidar slash autonomous driving space so i really like that very impressive you know he's been he's been the harvard and like studied physics out there and then dropped out and said i want to do this instead he's been recognized by mit so just overall very very sound character so next i want to talk about the lidar technology itself get a little more in detail about that so currently with this technology an important thing to note is that they do a good job in safeguarding their intellectual property so essentially anything with like copyright patents, things like that. So currently they have 92 issued patents, four of them are allowed and 77 are pending. So they have an immense amount of patents. That means they're safeguarding this technology. So they ensure that they are dominating this space. Now the sensor itself, very impressive. It detects distances up to 250 meters away. Not only this, it can detect dark objects, right? So it doesn't necessarily need light to reflect off of it that you can actually see. So it can detect dark objects as well, even in the dark as well. Well. Now it can also detect classes of vehicles around it. So it can tell you if something is a sedan or if it's a truck or if it's a semi. It can detect the lanes that it's in. It can detect any obstructions or objects like cones, trash cans, all that good stuff. It can also detect the velocity of objects as well as you could imagine. So it can detect the speed of the object in front of you. And you know that'll assist with things like lane keeping, lane switching. And it's also important to note that the sensors in this technology are always improving. It's always learning, which is very important to know because it gets a little more accurate over time. It gets a little more safer over time, which is a big selling point of this whole LiDAR technology. It's very safe to use, and that is how they are selling the commercial industry substantially. And it's important to know that how it is learning continuously is through software known as their OTA software. I just want to throw that tidbit in there because again, it's just it's just attesting to the fact that a lot of this technology, this software, all this good stuff is really within their own control and bubble. So now you have an overview of like what the LiDAR technology is. Let's talk into their two major products. So I'm gonna hop over to my screen here for that. We're gonna talk through it there and then we're gonna jump into a technical analysis. Now in this next screen, I'm gonna walk through their website. Link is down below in the description. It's actually a pretty cool website. It gives you a lot of nice visuals. It shows you their books, their presentations, all that good stuff. Let's take a look here next. So this is luminar.com, ticker symbol, laser, L-A-Z-R. 
as you can see we start off with this you can kind of get a grasp here of what this lidar technology kind of shows right how it kind of works it's reflecting light off these objects and it uses them to kind of gauge things proportionately scroll down here we got some news austin russell on luminar going public youngest billionaire ever i actually saw this interview this morning pretty good interview we have some good movement here with other companies but like i said before we'll jump into that stuff later let's jump into the products here so they have two major products right it's going to be the iris and the hydra i'm going to talk through each one of them here so here's the iris let's start off with the hydra so the hydra is used a little more for like testing purposes it's very it's very rigid and durable through like a lot of environmental tests or any vibration tests things like that so it's really rigid and again for testing and development programs i like that multiple applications perception enabled always learning like i mentioned before develop a confidence you can see it's going through a vibe test right here so there's a lot of applications that you can use for this besides autonomous driving next one i want to jump into is the iris so this is perhaps their most heavily focused product at the time here so this is for series production programs beginning in 2022 so this is really cool this is essentially what the sensor looks like it's it's very sleek it's actually embedded within the vehicle itself instead of like an outstanding camera like we've seen in the past with prior autonomous driving attempts and things like that. So scrolling through here, designed for scalability and flexibility. I like that. Perception enabled, always learning, like I mentioned through their OTA software and automotive grade. Here's some specs about it. And it's a really cool product. So now that we have a grasp on the kind of their products, I want to talk into some of their business movements that they've been making here. So what I want to talk through next is some of Luminar's major business moves that they've been going through through the duration of this company's lifespan. So as you can see, there are 50 current commercial partners. This is very substantial here. And seven out of 10 of them are the top OEMs in the automotive industry. So there's some notable names on here. You know, we got Toyota, Nissan, Beamer, Nikola. Nikola is not really notable. They're kind of whack. Uh, Neo, Honda, Hyundai, Mobileye, Intel, Nvidia, Uber, all these major companies now. This is substantial to notice because they're essentially only a SPAC and they already have this much visibility in this market. So again, it's attesting to the fact that they're pioneers. They have something that is truly innovative and not really existing out there. And all these companies know autonomous driving is coming. So why not jump into the game and try to source that software or product from someone who's currently working on it and is kind of striving at it as well. And that's where you see all these major players pursue luminar so i like what i'm seeing here i want to specifically hone in next on mobile eye and intel so mobile eye and intel if we go back to their their main website here so mobile eye and intel is working currently with this company they're working on a thing known as maas which is mobile as a service so this is nothing new here. So Mobileye, they're owned by Intel and Mobileye makes these sensors. Neo has actually been entertaining deals with them as well. So they're working with Neo as well. And essentially this whole MAS initiative is creating a whole fleet of service vehicles that are fully autonomous. So these things might get your groceries for you, deliver food, I don't know yet, but the intent is they're getting ahead of it. They're trying to launch it around that 2022, 2023 window. But it's nice to note that they'll be utilizing some of Luminar's technology with this as well so before jumping into the technical analysis here i just want to show this visual for you guys to kind of walk through kind of these sensors are working right so it's detecting all these blocks these cubes of vehicles it just expands beyond that range right it's, it's showing the road objects bushes and again it's just a vehicle detection very impressive software you can see it's adjusting over time configurable field coverage right so it has a horizon tracker so if you're going up and down hills things like that there's a lot of things being considered here. Great looking product, great potential. So I kind of just want to make a talking point here about the future of this company. So like I said, this video is more for informative purposes, just to kind of give you a quick overview about the company. But here's my opinion and whether or not you should buy it. I think, I think you should. I think there's opportunity here. Now I'm not saying buy it now. And again, I'm not an expert, I'm not an advisor. Go to professionals for that. But in my opinion, I think this is a great investment. Look how much skin they have in the game already i mean these 50 again they have all this visibility from these 50 major companies seven out of ten of the top automotive companies i mean this is substantial i really like the movements that they're making they're part of this whole ev market sector as well which is progressive it's still ongoing and it's starting to wake up more and more as time goes on now we're going to tell this video with a technical analysis so i'm going to jump back into my screen here let's do a technical analysis let's walk through what we can i know it's only been public for two days 
Let's walk through. Let's try to identify some in intraday support and resistance levels. Again, this is more applicable to day traders. Now for investors, which is more of kind of what I'm doing right now. For you investors as well, I will also talk through some strategies as well. So let's jump into my screen here. So this is Luminar, ticker symbol LAZR, laser. As you can see, it's only been alive for essentially two days, not a whole lot there. So we're not gonna use the 180 day chart as much for this company and for the sake of this video. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hone in on the one day one minute chart it's essentially for intraday trading as you can see it went public it's up nearly 40 percent since going public and you can indicate that here with the higher high of 34.44 and actually i'll go at the current price point which is currently at 30.56 and it opened at about 22 dollars when it went public and currently it's up about 37 percent since then now as you can see it's still trying to identify itself it's very new so as an investor, I'd hang tight. Let's wait for it to cool down a little bit more. We can refer to companies like Snow and Palantir. So if you look at Snow, I'm gonna back up here a little bit. Snow went public not too long ago here. And as you can see, it kinda, kinda found a little more of an identity over time and now it's starting to have a little more of a breakout. But if we look at also Palantir, right? This is a very popular stock as well. A little more flat line, you know, chilled out. And then it started to identify some patterns here and now it's starting to take off a little bit. So my point is, Let's be safer than sorry with laser. But anyways, looking at Luminar, intraday opportunities, I think there's some there. This company has been experiencing a substantial amount of volume, so that offers a lot of swinging opportunities. So there are good day trading opportunities here, intraday opportunities. As you can see, it has been finding you know a nice support here, quickly looking at this price of $30.02. It has found it capped out at a resistance of that higher high of $34.44. So I have a resistance at $34 and I have a support at about $30. So I'm gonna see if you can stay within this range. Uh, like I said, intraday wise, really good swings here, right? You saw confirmation here, you could have bought in, wrote it up, and then it tailed off, found resistance. Then we saw validation here, so I would have sold here, right? But yeah, again, there's some good opportunities here, I think. As an investor, let's hang tight a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna put some money into this, but I'm gonna wait again until things are a little more cooled down, a little more clear. I want it to have a little more of an identity first and give me some patterns. My final thoughts on this company, again, I think it is a buy. I think it's a good trading situation now because it has a lot of visibility, a lot of momentum, a lot of volume. This means a lot of swinging around, right? So volatility is good. If you're a day trader now, this isn't for the faint of heart, especially for how new it is. So a word of caution there. Now as an investor, again, I'm gonna wait till it cools down, but I'm gonna put some money into this. I like the outlook a lot. There's really not a whole lot of guys in this LIDAR space. So I'm very impressed with what they're doing so far. Again, very significant partnerships in the game already. So they have their skin in the game. And then on top of that, their technology is just so pioneered. So, you know, think about Tesla. Tesla did so well because they were kind of the first ones into that niche now. LiDAR is a little more specific of an application, but Tesla, again, just conceptually the same thing there, right? They were kind of the first ones there. People started to follow them, right? We're going to start seeing, I'm sure, little LiDAR companies similar to Luminar start to pop up here and there, become more specs. Anyways, I think the EV market is here to stay. I think Luminar is here to stay, and I like them for the future. So like this video if it helped you out. I hope I gave you some good information that can help you get a head start on Luminar. And also comment below if I miss anything at all so that we can share it with those below in the comment section also feel free to subscribe to the channel as well what you get is weekly uploads from yours truly and access to a free discord channel link below in the description well that's all i have for today guys i hope you have a good weekend and happy trading